What's up everybody? Grim Greenback here today. You might be asking yourself, what time is it? And the only correct answer to that question is, it's vape time! Now I already feel like a big enough of a dork wearing my Apple Watch everywhere I go. Little teenagers laugh at me. And what you well has managed to do here is take a dorky design like the Apple Watch and make it even dorkier. This is a vape. There's already dozens of videos out there on the UL amulet pod system and it... <laughs> It's a watch that vapes, you guys. Like I said earlier, I'm already used to feeling like a dork wearing my Apple Watch everywhere, so wearing this, nah, it's really not that big of a difference. It'll obviously show you the time, and it shows you the time like a watch would with a 24-hour clock, and there's no way to change that, so if you're not acclimated to using a 24-hour clock, it could be something that will make you crazy. I worked on Graveyard Shift for four years, so all we used was a 24-hour clock, so I'm fairly accustomed to it. As a watch, I guess it serves its purpose. It sits on your wrist, you press the little button on the side and it'll show you the time. It also shows you the date, the resistance of the coil, and a little battery level indicator. It's overall pretty honkin'. I mean, pretty seriously dorky big and honkin' for a watch. It's just, I mean, Look at look at it. Look at that. Look at this thing. You want to know the time? Yeah, it's 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 a twelve forty eight. It's almost one p.m. And then when you want to go vape it, there's just a little button right here. You press, kind of releases it, and then you can comfortably sort of grab it out. When you grab it out, it exposes this tiny little mouthpiece here, and it's just an auto switch. So you just take a drag on it. And I'll be damned if that isn't just a really, really good mouth to lung vape. I wish it was bad. I wish this vaped poorly so that I could make fun of it some more. But honestly, it's vaping really well. The draw is nice. It's a little bit on the stiff side. Feels a little bit spongy, but if you like a a stiffer mouth to lung, I think this is gonna feel real nice for you. Now I can sit here in my office and talk about how dorky this is and how weird it is that this kind of snaps into a watch. I can sit here and say, I, I would never really use this. I would never really put this on just sitting at my desk and working and then having to like pop this out and and vape that way when I can just as easily like grab any other mod and vape it. It's kind of like, it's kind of useless. But really this isn't meant to be just used like sitting here at a desk or walking around your house. This is an on the go device. So we're gonna take it on the go. And see out there in the real world of running errands, if it's actually useful or not. Little two mil capacity on here, little 370 ma or milliamp hour battery in here. Here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna take this, I'm gonna use it, and if it's useful, then shit. It's useful. And best of all, I won't feel any more dorky out in the general public than I normally do. and my watch in a car. So the actual vape quality from this little pod tank right here is really top notch. I would even go so far as to compare this to like how the Caliburn vapes. That Caliburn just vapes so well, like an old Cardo tank. This vapes just damn near the same way. It's got the same feel, same airflow, same saturation, same flavor, which isn't super surprising seeing as that you well made both of them. It's like a little, it's like a little Caliburn that you just keep on your wrist. Here's what I will say, the watch band, after I was wearing it for like an hour or so, I didn't even notice the difference between this and my Apple Watch other than when I looked at it, I would go, oh yeah, that's the amulet. It honestly fits well, it feels 
comfortable. I can tell the time. I can pop it out. I can vape it. And this is all I brought with me today. So hopefully you hold up. You will amulet your little 370 ma battery on the inside. I'm wondering if I'm gonna get through the two mil liquid first or if I'm gonna wear the battery down first. Oh, do you have a watch you can vape? Cause I do, oh shit. Oh, just vape and watch, no big deal. I don't remember where I put my vape. Oh wait, it's right here on my fucking watch. It's no big deal, so I'm just vaping my watch. So just, God damn it, if this isn't really convenient and vapes so amazingly. I know I already said this a thousand times, it vapes exactly like the Cali Burn. And honestly, having this little vape pod receptacle, like, on your wrist, it's convenient. It's dorky, it's the most dorky, but damn it, I, I cannot deny the convenience. It even clicks in and out real satisfyingly. You can press the button and nothing really happens. It doesn't fall out. You physically have to like grab it out and there's just enough. They expose just enough of the pod just so that you can barely grab it. I would have liked a little bit of texture on here. It would have been easier to grab it out and it does snap back in very satisfyingly. You can only do it one way. You gotta put the mouthpiece in, then the bottom. Boom, click, and that's it. Okay, I refuse to finish this video in the car so I'm just gonna brave out this traffic until I get home. Okay, so after using the UWell amulet all day long, here's where I'm gonna land on this. It is just the silliest, dorkiest little thing you can vape. It does vape like a champion. With the mouth to lung on this, you don't really blow through juice, so the two mil capacity is kind of no big deal. 370 ma battery, not great, but in line with other pod systems. This is, I see it as essentially a Caliburn in a different form factor. If you want something that vapes exactly like the Caliburn, which this does vape exactly like the Caliburn, and you just wanna wear it on your wrist, then the UL Amulet is really the only show in town. If you want a vape that is very, very exactly the same as this, but you don't want to wear it on your wrist, the UL Caliburn, they, I mean, I can't say this enough, they just vape the same way. It, it's crazy how similarly they vape. Gotta be the same coil heads or something like that, I'm assuming, coming from UL now. Vape budget hands, gonna need your vape budget hands. Nah, I don't know, not really. 45 to 50 bucks for the amulet, for the watch, vape, and it'll show you the time and 24 hour clock, and we've been all through that before. Now let's play the aliens game. If the aliens came and took everything I had, I had nothing left to vape. Is the UL amulet something I'm gonna seek out and buy right away? Probably not, P probably not but I cannot deny how great that vape is and I cannot deny how wildly convenient it is to wear this on your wrist. I don't really think I could bring myself to do it every single day because I wear another watch. I wear another dorky Apple watch. Truly and honestly, I'm just kind of excited to see where UL goes next. They've got a great vaping system. Whatever coil heads they're using for this and for the Caliburn, it just vapes awesome. And I wanna see them put that coil head and that tank to a better use, maybe in something a little bit more functional, like an AIO type of thing. That's what I'm excited for from you. Well, I mean, I don't know if they're, I don't know if they're doing an AIO. I'm just saying, I would like to see them do an AIO. All right, I'm now I'm way off track. Anyway, that's what I got for today, everybody. Links are not allowed in the description, so you're gonna have to use that Google Foo. But thank you guys so much for watching. And no matter what's in your hand or what's on your wrist, let's just keep on vaping. <laughs>